Hey guys, welcome to episode seven of our van build. Today, <laughs> we're gonna be installing the dodo thermoliner. More dodo. All the dodos <laughs> on the walls and the ceiling. Maybe not the ceiling because of roof rack problems, but probably yeah. we'll see. So we thought today we were going to be doing the whole thing and then suddenly Phil realised that actually we need access to some of the bolts in the ceiling. So everything is like getting half done at this point because we need to do something else before we can finish. <laughs> That's a, or it's a common theme. Isn't we've it? run out of stuff. So like we needed to do the floor liner and we've not got enough stuff. So we're halfway through that too. So I don't know what to do. We obviously need to put these side panels on, but I don't know whether to do like little panels and try and fill in all the gaps where we can with that stuff because you want to basically just like sandwich it against the um the van wall so it doesn't but i thought you already knew what you were doing yeah but there's the other option is to just literally cover the whole thing but then you'll have little gaps in places which i don't know if that's oh, bad I bet or not you probably haven't bought enough to do that either. i've got loads there's 10 <laughs> 10 meters in each roll that's 30 meters that should be fine we'll figure it out so what's the plan? What are we doing? I don't know. Okay. You decide. What's easiest? Because I tapped out. <laughs> the other tapped day. out doing floors, James. <laughs> the um, less cut and the better. So I guess if you think it's a good move, then I would go with doing the whole thing. I think it would make sense, but we will have gaps in it. So figure it out. So this should be the spaceship stuff. So I'm quite excited because it's gonna, basically the van should be fully silver inside, is that right? Most of it, yeah. Woo! Basically like this, but like everywhere. Yeah. Woo! That is loads. Definitely silver. How the hell do I get this out? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> okay, and then it's literally just like everything else, it just sticks. Yeah. Peel it off and stick it on. Cool. Super easy. So first panel, I think we'll try this one. Because... Phil's decided to go for the all over method, right? Yeah, all over and squeeze it in where you can. Because otherwise... Well, it just won't work otherwise because you'll be cutting like a million different bits. Yeah, ideally... You just want the van without any structural support and the smooth edge. <laughs> <laughs> but that doesn't happen, so let's get it started. So, it's quite big, but I'm still going to have to do a bit of cutting in. Are we, uh, do we, I guess we do all this middle bit as well, yeah? No, I don't, I don't want to. Oh. I want to try and keep the wall as close to this as possible, because otherwise... You really need some sort of layer on it. Because that's just bare metal. Yeah, I guess so. Because what, I guess there's nothing else goes on top of this then, it's just walls after this, yeah? F uh, fluffy stuff. We've got the fluffy insulation, like the recycled plastic insulation. And then walls. And then walls, yeah. So I would do, I would do a layer of this stuff on here, and then a small layer of fluff. And then walls, because otherwise you're going to have a really cold bit of metal, aren't you? Yeah, I guess so. And she's right, she's right. Apparently so. So I've got a better idea. It's not a better idea because you won't like it. <laughs> but we're going to leave these exposed for now. So I can get all the electrics through all the holes I need to get them through. So we're going to panel the inside of these all the way to the edges. Mm -hmm. And then we'll get to the point where we do electrics mm -hmm. and then after that we can then finish off these bits. So we know all the bolts are going, where all the rivets are going for the panelling mm -hmm. and then we can put the panels on and the last bits of these trims. Okay. So basically what you're saying is we're doing another half a job. Yeah. <laughs> this is driving me nuts. Basically with a van you have to do everything at the same time then you can't do that. But is, is that is it though, yeah, or is it just us? Everyone says this, it's okay. like you can't. 
I'm finding it so annoying. <laughs> like, you want to just end the day and know that you've ticked that job off the list, but you can't. You literally can't do it. Huh? What's wrong with it? Oh no, how did that happen? had an idea the ridges on the panel here which we've covered over on this side I actually thought it'd be a quite a good idea to put a little bit of like extra insulation in there because otherwise it's kind of just leaving a bit of a pocket of air so Phil's going to use some scraps of the floor liner that we've got lying around and just fill it in yeah. and then that way when we put the thermal liner is that what it's called the tinfoil thing yeah. over the top it should sit a little bit flusher and also stick a bit easier so i think that's quite a good idea so i'm gonna give it a go now how quickly does it stick down i don't know uh very quickly but i do think you can pull it mm, can you i think it comes off i do have some good ideas sometimes i do shame it's not all the time rude Oh no, it's stuck down. <laughs> That's where you're staying. <laughs> Bloody elbows in the way and trying to film it. <laughs> Lovely. And then, just like magic, Phil will do the other three. <laughs> See, he's done it. Easy. And that was the first one. And then the other three he managed to do much nicer. Oh, there's a step in there. Oh, shit. Good job, that was my good ankle. That's how old I am. I now have a bad ankle. <laughs> I have a good ankle and a bad ankle. You're just scared to hurt your arm, and that's all. You're not old yet. Not as old as you. Fits much nicer on these ridgy bits now. Yeah. Yeah. Lovely. When you cut the liner, it makes the sticky paper on the back go jaggedy and then it doesn't peel off in one and it's so annoying. I'm well impressed with this. Yeah. I am. It was my idea and it's proper smooth and nice. How <laughs> with that? Yeah. I thought you meant the product. Well, I don't really know about Just your products. idea. You're well impressed with your idea. Yeah, because it's mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got so much more to do. What just happened, lads? A bee, like literally the size of my thumb. That's tiny. It was like... <laughs> it's not for a bee! <laughs> it was huge, actually. Like... I'm scared of wasps, but and I'm not scared of bees normally, but that thing was massive. I'm not scared of either, but I don't want it to cut because, like, if it comes in the van and it's like bouncing around the walls, yeah. that'd be very stressful. The crisis of it. <laughs> but it is so huge, I can see it flying for like miles in the sky. But isn't it too early for bees? It's February. I mean, that's a bit much, isn't it? You woke up too early. Oh, well, this is done one. Let's see how you do. This will be the best one you've ever seen. Yeah. I don't know if that's the top. Just keep going until it stops. Make sure it's straight. I'm not a perfectionist like you. I like character in my van. <laughs> <laughs> love Lair. Perfect. Bloody love <laughs> uh, Well done, Sudi. Next. This will fit. Well, you're doing the, yeah, you're doing the next one. It's got to go to the bottom. Cut the whip again. Well, just the same, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, but it won't go to the bottom fully, will it? Um, well, I've got... Hold it in half and see if it goes to the bottom. 
this? Yeah, just fold it. No, the other way. The other half, yeah. No. What? <laughs> just fold it in half and see if it fits. <laughs> That's well, about right. Uh, yeah. yeah, I make that fit. Yeah, with your discrepancies, yeah, that'll but... fit perfect. Oh, shit, so rude. <laughs> Just like cut it there then. Yeah, cut it there and then down you go. We're waiting. You can't rush perfection, thank you. <laughs> Apparently, you can. <laughs> okay, that fit. Oh, right. oh my god. Uh... Mm. I'm gonna say that was a perfect job, that. Spot on. Well done. It's bloody it. lovely, that! <laughs> <laughs> so we're getting there with the silver bits. This is my side. How are you doing over there, lads? Yeah, good. Just said to. Fill in a few gaps, a bit like a few puzzle. cuts, Jesus. What have you been doing? <laughs> well, I just sort of gave up and just started cutting bits and hope they fit. Who needs measuring? <laughs> Lunchtime? No, not yet. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Can't get Black Sabbath about your head now. <laughs> Liz never listens to Black Sabbath in her life. I'm such a rock chip, actually. Because you know I go to download festivals. Oh, yeah. To see Fallout Boy. <laughs> <laughs> Why, once I hear a song, it's in my head for like ever? It's new, mate. I have like a um, hyper fixation, I think. Not on anything productive. No. Oh, always just a little bit wrong. <laughs> That's not a little bit wrong. What, what do you mean? Look how far off it is. It's not that far. It's, come on. Now you're going to cut too much off. So, while well, I've been slaving away over here, doing these nice little corners, Liz has been asking for praise. Yeah, I did a pretty good job actually. Yeah. And where'd you get that bit from, Liz? Just hit the slider. Yeah, around. my bit. I'm cutting all these bits for me and they keep going missing. <laughs> You're doing Put your a great name on job. it then. You're doing a great job. Thank you. Well done. <laughs> hey, Leds. What? I need your bod job services. It's not called bodge job, it's called patchwork. Yeah, well, I need that oh. done. Look at all my I've little odds and ends. I've missed a bit because I'm not as perfect as you. Look at this. Why are you doing this? That was from ages You're ago. You're supposed to like do that and get it to fit in. Do you want me to show everyone what you last did over there? <laughs> How are you getting on, lads? I'm doing great. I get in there, the whole top's done. We're silvered out. I just worked out how to cut triangle. Well then. I think. Oh wait, that didn't work. <laughs> no, why didn't that work? How did I get that so wrong? <laughs> Do that wrong. Something, mate. Ugh. You'll get there. I just wasted a good sized piece as well. So we've done the get all the tops, the two side panels that we have to do because of the rest of the windows, and then the bottom bits are real tricky because there's lots of ribs in the way. So it's the fun part in it, Liz. Yeah, I don't mind it. I like doing the patchy bits. Yeah. So we're going to finish the front part of the cab now with uh, hopefully two or three panels, which Liz is going to cut out for me, expertly precisioned. Is that right? Have you seen my cutting skills? I have seen your cutting skills and I'm worried. So, <laughs> so if you don't mind, I need it to be 94 long on one side, 75 wide, and 84 long the other side. You should get me my magic ruling stick. <laughs> <laughs> Here's your magic ruling stick. Right, what? Right, so... Well, let me just see how long this is first. So let's see how long that is first. That's what I'm doing! <laughs> right, this is... What you did send me is... Yeah, I need 94. 
So this is 100, so I'll just cut that. Yeah, cut that to 94, and it needs to be 75 wide. How accurate does it need to be? Pretty, pretty accurate. Don't Within a centimeter, I'd say. I need two of these, by the way. <sighs> well, you're going to need another roll of this then. So you do the 75, and then this side you're on now needs to be the 94, and that side needs to be 84. Just cut the 75 and I'll show you what I mean. <laughs> uh, so what have you just done, lids? Cut it. Was it precision? Yeah. I think it was. Oh, well, <laughs> depends if your measurements are right. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Perfect. Look, yeah, look at that. Follows the line the whole way. Wow, what do you know? You should get a job doing this. I'm not cutting the other side. Yeah, it's just a mirror, it's fine, you can do the other one as well. You can also do it. I'm stuck in here because I have shoes on. <laughs> I'm in the shoe zone. You better stick it right because I'm not doing it again. If I don't stick it right, it's not going off again. <laughs> Perfect, I would say. I would say almost. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at that. Yeah, do you even need sound editing? There's an argument against it. <laughs> <laughs> That's Philly's <fine. laughs> argument. I'm done with sound editing. I know. Philly's got his grumpy face on. <laughs> <laughs> look, you've nearly finished. A bit more difficult than you expected. Yeah. You managed it, didn't you? Look. Sort of just shoving it in there now, really. Look at that. Lovely. Beautiful. Spot on, mate. One more to go. I think okay. I used the wrong bit. Never mind. <laughs> we finished the side bits, and they were a pain in the bottom. Yeah, Phil was a bit grumpy. <laughs> I think it's the heat. Can't stand the heat. I just yeah, get grumpy. Yeah, it's quite warm today. I don't know why. So now we're on to the fluffy stuff. Insulation. So how are we going to do that then? We Spray in this stuff? I think we'll cut it, measure the length that we need to cut out. Yeah. Then maybe spray that down on the floor and then just pop it up. Oh, okay. Because yeah, I yeah. think spraying this is a bad idea. Okay. Purely because it'll go everywhere, I think. And at least we've got cardboard on the floor. So. Yeah, that makes sense. Do you want to cut it open or what? <laughs> what the hell? So what does it, what size does it come in? The size that's on the front. So this is not on here. I can't remember. <laughs> I think it was like 50 by something, 50 by three meters or so five you just meters. Hold it up and then just cut, score it. Yeah, gonna hold it up see where it goes to and then cut it and then spray it and then stick it. Oh, this is a nightmare to cut. Well, they're fabric scissors. They should cut that easy. Well, you do it then. Once we feel they're frickin' ruined. You're just a scissor pro. You need a woman to touch this like this. That's where it is. Perfecto. Sort of. Touch. <laughs> Four of those, please. With your finest cutting skills. What the fuck? <laughs> hey, what's happened? <laughs> no way. Please don't tell me that. Or oh, too short. Do they shrink? How has that happened? They can't shrink. Mate, they're getting even smaller. <laughs> what's happened here? <laughs> no, why? So does any of them fit? This one does. But that's still too short. It's better. Oh, for God's sake. Right, lay that one down on the floor and just do it on the floor and I'll overcut. So what stuff did you get? I got some multi-purpose impact. Nice. Instant contact adhesive. So we're gonna spray this, leave it for three minutes, 
spray that, leave it for three minutes, and then stick it on. Don't make a mess, please. <laughs> yeah, about that. Ooh. Whoa, it's stringy. It's like silly string. I used to love that stuff. That's enough, isn't it? Yeah, we'll do the whole <coughs> thing if we've got to leave it three minutes. True. Lovely. Also, children, always wear a mask. <laughs> Don't... Oh. Oh shit, it's all in your oh, hair. Oh no! What have you done? <laughs> How did you do that? I feel he's in a doghouse now, that's it, I'm done. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Headline is done. These little shelves are back in. And it's on to the next job. Finishing the thermal liner. So we need to get this van looking like a baked potato. So we need to finish off basically all the spaces that isn't going to be cut out by Phil <laughs> for windows for max fans and all that kind of stuff so we need to finish off the roof and um inside the door are we doing all of like this not yet no but is it going to be done eventually I'm not sure yet it depends on how we do the paneling but um so it might be one of those jobs where we do we have to carry on. And then on. come back in a couple of weeks and then continue doing <laughs> Just like everything else, really. I know, it kind of does feel like that. But yeah, that's what we are up to this morning. So the first roof panel is nearly done. And what we decided is, as you can see on this one that's not done, it's got all the like ridges in the middle and then like these gaps here where the screws go. So Phil started to roll it over and then I said, well, really, because this stuff, the way it works is it has to be flat to the metal. What's the reason? To bring, to stop condensation happening, basically. So you, you thicken the metal piece and it has like a thermal bridge so it stops any water building up this side of the van. Like condensation. So as you can hopefully see this on camera, like we've had to go into the indent and then cut around the bit here because otherwise there would have just been gaps where it wasn't touching the metal and then really it's no good so yeah technically you'll have like a pocket of air where there's where you can just get condensation built up and it'll just um sit there basically so so yeah it's a good job that we thought about it or i thought about you it. thought about it but it just means it's not quite as easy, but better to do things right. Than do things twice. So we've skipped this bit as well so far. Why? Because of the roof rack situation. So these are the bolts for the roof rack. Oh, the roof rack that Philly can't decide and I won't buy. I can't find one that's, that's to my standards actually. <laughs> yeah, that isn't like eight grand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the one I want is two and a half grand. Is it? Oh. Um, so these are all the roof bolts or the plugs for the roof where the roof racks bolt into and I don't want to insulate too far just in case I need to get to here and it just makes it easier so we're going to do half of the roof until the roof racks in and then we can finish this bit but then we also need to put wiring in so we can't finish it till the wiring's in. I hate doing half jobs it's so annoying to like finish the day and not have completed the full job. You can see progress though. No, I know, but I just want to be like, right, tick Everything's that done. off the list and then it's not done because you've got to do something else before you can finish this and then finish the other thing and then it's just a nightmare, but progress. All progress is good progress, <laughs> right? one <laughs> I'm kidding no one so we've just done the, the whole of the roof just before that I say the whole roof most, most of the roof apart from the two fan spots and the end bit which I don't know what we've been doing with yet because 
That's where the cables are coming in from the roof, probably. But yeah, roof sorted. Now we've gone to doors. Underneath the sliding door and then the two back doors. And then is that it? Is that what we're doing? That's all we need to do for now for this stuff, I think. Because the whole front's done. We can do the front doors at some point, but that's just... Are we doing the front doors, are we? Yeah, we might as well. Still a point of insulation, isn't it? Because the front's open, so... I guess so, so yeah. And then... But but first, most importantly, Ooh. lunchtime. <laughs> right, show me how to do it then. Take a screwdriver. What kind of screwdriver does that? It's a ratchet one, it's handy, you'll like it. Pop it in there. No, let's use the ratchet, mate. I don't know how to. It's simple, just just twist like you. <laughs> no, like what? I was doing it. Oh. <laughs> what? That seems like it would take twice as long. Yes, if it's like hard. It wasn't hard. Look how quick that is. I'm teach you a thing or two. Oh, oh neat. <laughs> it's magnetic. <laughs> That's cool. That you need your little bowl that you just go. Behind it. This huge spider. It's jammed in there. Lovely. What are you using your head for? Because <laughs> it's smart. <laughs> oh shit. You need to paint these while I take the rest off. Why can't you paint them? Because I'm doing this. I don't have the paintbrush. You're the painter of the family. I'm not. You I'm are. a mechanic. You're what? Mechanic, you sir. That one looks rusty. Oh. Am I just the screw holder? Am I? Is that what's going on here? Well, yeah, unless you want to do something else. Let's strip it. My <laughs> business. So all of the panels are off and then we've uncovered our favourite thing and favourite job that we have to do. <laughs> More bloody screw holes to bloody paint. <laughs> you can see a lot of them, the metal's like raised up on them, like that one there. This one's pretty bad, yeah. So they're all going to need like, what? Drilling, Drilling and painting. painting. Yay. All right, so we've cleaned up both doors, drilled all the little holes out, got them smooth as best we can anyway. Going to finish some insulation. Which I think is Luke's favourite job, actually. I actually quite like it. You're pretty good at it. Mm. And then we've got to paint the holes. But we don't have to wait for them to dry to finish anything else, so yeah, it's not as good. bad as last time. Doors are done. Insulation at the top finished. And at the bottom. Happy? I think so. I don't even know if that's going to do much. It should do, hopefully. So while the panels are off, we're just going to get these bits woolly insulated. So cut a bit off of there, glue it in, shove it in, and then that's that part of the door done completely then. So yeah. And we'll do that side as well. Do we need to do down here or leave that open? We're going to leave that open because we're going to put deadlocks in, so can't do that bit yet, but at least this is done while we're here, so might as well. Nice. Let's shove this bit in here. And shove these bits as well. Oh, it smells nice, doesn't it? Well, it's better than the varnish smell. So wait, That's not the right piece. <laughs> so we're just going to pop it on here and shove it in, basically. Could have measured it for the other side. 
side. Where's the fun in that? <laughs> also, you don't want a shelf here, do you? Oh, <laughs> uh, I guess not. <laughs> you didn't think about that. That could have been good. Yeah. I mean, we can always take it out. But is it going to be? A, is it going to be? Is that good? That is a good place for a shelf, isn't it? Maybe. If we need a shelf, we can put one in. <laughs> take that out. To be fair, there's going to be panelling there, isn't there, on here? So it's going to be raised out a bit, so you probably you still have a bit of a shelf. I mean, there's not much room there, really, but <laughs> you could squish a shelf in if you wanted to. Maybe that's okay. We'll see. We'll see. Your turn. I'm just going to say that. <laughs> Love Perfect. life. Big potato. <laughs> the van is a potato. <laughs> so we are done as much as we can with the thermal stuff. Yeah, what's it called? I can't remember what it's called. Thermoliner? Thermoliner, yeah. What's that? Something like that. Again, from Dodo Map, but obviously, you've, if you've been watching our videos, you'll have seen us use it, I don't know, so much now, because you seem to have to do it every episode at the moment. Um, doors, took the panels off the doors, thermolined, drilled some holes that we didn't know were there, yeah. painted them up, a little bit of insulation in the door, finished the sliding door, Basically, the van is thermo-aligned as much as we can make it. So we've left some of this kind of bits um, free because this is where electrics are going to go. It's just easier to get stuff through when there's nothing in the way, obviously. So, yeah, doing that. And then also waiting to do the doors, to need to deadlock them. We'll yes. do the deadlock system for them because we can't do that with insulation in the way either. No, and the system we're looking at is very expensive, so we mm. need to decide what we're going to do about that. See our options with that, yeah. yeah. And then finish off the roof once the roof racks in. So basically there's loads left to do. <laughs> but for now it's done. <laughs> for now it's done as much as we can. So we're going to end the video here. So thank you all so much for watching. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe because of course many, many more van conversion videos to come to you guys. <laughs> and we'll see you on the next one. Bye guys. See ya.